This is a product video for TechRap's Gloss Metallic Series. On the outside of the box, you will find the lot number, color swatch, roll length width, as well as URL. The lot number can also be found in the core tube. A directional sticker attaches the roll to itself, and each roll comes in a fabric and plastic bag, as well as a TechRap sticker. And here are the details. Product number RB02, film type, polymeric multi-layered calendar, liner, craft white, roll length 20 meters, roll width 152 centimeters, 15 colors, thickness 180 microns, and adhesive solvent uses OEM paint. If there are any scratches on the surface of the wrap film, this is no cause for alarm. The Gloss Metallic series has a clear liner that protects the wrap film from scratches during production. The finish is high gloss metallic, which means it has extra sheen. The liner has a 4 inch grid pattern on the back which can aid in production and direction. Keep in mind that it is not directional in spite of being a metallic film. This helps reduce mistakes during installation. The adhesive layer is black and has an airy-grass feature. It does not have repositionable technology so the initial tack is high. This means that to get the best results it should be kept away from the surface as it's installed. If wrinkles occur during the application process, they can be self-healed and the panel reused. This is done by triggering the memory effect of the film by adding heat. Once it goes back to its original shape and finish, squeeze it onto the surface. Overlaps should be 3 to 5 millimeters wide. And here are the production tips. There's no printing directly on the surface, as well as no need to laminate. And here's the warranty. Zone 1, 5 years. Zone 2, 4 years. Zone 3, 2 years and you can buy a minimum of 3 meters instead of the 20 meter whole roll. During preparation, always dry all edges around molding and on raised objects like door handles. Once dry, clean all edges using a squeegee in a paper towel. Be sure to open all doors and trunks when degreasing and focus on the outside edges first, then the main surface area and any recessed areas. Overlap wipes to get full coverage during cleaning. Make precise measurements and either use a cutting table or the standing roll. Use the grid as a tool to get the right size and then cut straight down the line. For install tips, workspace 17 to 25 Celsius, standard cleaning method, paint OEM in good condition, conformability flat to moderate curves, and here are the tools needed to achieve a professional result in good workflow. And the surface energy is high. Solid preparation is key to a perfect application. Here, using tri-line on the front of the hood to get extra wrap around for the finishing. Using a backy paper cutter, remove a 3 cm strip from the liner in the middle of the panel. Then, flip it over onto the surface. Once the panel is in place, then remove the plastic liner. This means that the gloss surface will be in perfect condition. Be sure to use a wet buffer to keep scratches at a minimum. Then anchor the panel in place, making it a permanent hinge. Flip the panel over and be sure to use overlapping squeegee strokes from top to bottom. Always apply the right amount of pressure and then, once one side is completed, repeat the same steps for the other half. Always feed recessed areas when possible to avoid overstretching the film. When the film bunches up on curves, add heat from a heat gun to soften then gently stretch it into shape. Because the gloss metallic film is calendar, it's very important to add heat at the edges before cutting. This relaxes the film and helps keep it from lifting over time. Cut on the opposite side of the section being wrapped as this creates a 1cm piece that will wrap under the edge for extra hold and coverage. Use a combination of heat and a finger or squeegee to seal the deal on the other side. For large compound curves like on this trunk, it's best to wrap this area in two pieces due to the thickness of the gloss metallic film. Apply the bottom section first as this means the overlap will face down. It's a good idea to use cutting tape for cuts directly on the surface. With the panel in place, remove the liner, then set up a permanent hinge in the middle. Next, create glass by pulling firmly to the side. This can be done without adding heat in most cases. Wet the buffer, then apply the flat areas first. For the recessed area, wet an application glove, then heat the film so it can conform. The material is ready when the wrinkles flatten out. Starting from the outside, work towards the opening so the air can escape. Add more heat when necessary. Be sure to apply firm pressure and when done, go over the entire area with the heat gun to check for bubbles. With the main surface area applied, cut away the excess film. Always pull away from the area that is stained. For corners, use the cold pre-stretch technique. 
by heating and shrinking the corners and focusing on this first. Trim the underside of the corner, then cut from the outside edge and work towards the corner for a perfect finish. For the top section, make the overlap 3mm using the edge of the cutting tape for symmetry. Then repeat the exact same steps. Create a temporary hinge, then flip the panel over to make a permanent hinge. Remove the liner, then relax the film to the first panel with heat and gentle pulling. Cut away the excess film with the cutting tape, and then repeat the exact same steps for the corners, using the cold pre-stretch technique. When finished, it's critical to do a 360 degree check over to make sure that the edges are 100% sealed. And if done correctly, the overlap on the body line will disappear and it looks like paint. For door handles that cannot be taken off easily, use an inlay in the cup behind the handle. Next, create a template around the door handle, in this case using masking tape. Cut the shape on a work table and be sure to make it an enclosed cut. Lower the surface energy of the handle and the surrounding area with masking tape. This will help neutralize the high tack of the adhesive. Use a tack cloth before the panel goes on to remove dirt. Create a vertical temporary hinge, then place the panel over the handle with the focus on this area first. Once secured, the rest of the panel can be applied. Remove the liner, create glass, then squeegee. For the door handle, be sure to use the tuck and cut method. This will maintain full coverage and minimize any overstretching. For the edges, like the hood, cut on the opposite side. Cutting the edge on the door can mean the film will shrink over time and come short. For the handle, avoid overstretching the film as there are tight edges and severe compound curves. When done correctly, the overlaps disappear into the body lines and it looks like the door handle was removed. For bumpers, take the time to place the vehicle on race rims to help the install. If the hardware can't come out, lower the surface energy with masking tape, then use cutting tape to tuck the film under. Create a temporary hinge right in the middle of the panel and line it up on the hinge of the trunk. Work the film about 30 centimeters away from the center, then get an extra set of hands to help on the corners. Because this is a multi-layered film, it's best to use an IR heater to soften all the layers. This helps it conform to the curves, which should be done first. With one side completed, go to the other side and then lock the film in place. With the film on the main body area, now it's time to cut away the excess film around the scoop area. Wrapping this film in one piece can lead to failures, so it's good to wrap these in two pieces. Cut away the excess film around the lights, then feed the film under about one centimeter. This creates full coverage and durability. For the wheel well area, use the cold pre-stretch technique to shrink the film back to the edge before cutting. Reapply the cutting tape, making a 3mm overlap, then apply the top piece. The second panel has minimal tension, which means it can be applied to the steep angled sections with confidence. Remove the excess film, then wipe down the bumper to remove any handprints that were made during the installation process. And here are the post-install tips. Cure time, 24 hours above 10 Celsius. Aftercare products, pH neutral. Avoid using wax or solvents. post heat temperature is 108 Celsius. And for overlaps, 127 Celsius. Because the gloss metallic film is multi-layered and 180 microns, post heating all edges is critical. This can mean longer post-install times, but it is necessary to ensure a durable wrap and one that will not have issues over time. Be sure to include overlaps during the post-heating as well. Aftercare products should be pH neutral, so they don't dry out the wrap film. And here's the removal information. Residue should be 5-10%, to 10 always best done within the warranty period, and heat softens the film, which makes it easy to take off. When removing the gloss metallic film, Work in small sections and pull evenly. This reduces tension on the clear coat. Propane torches can be used along with heat guns. Steamers are also very effective, especially with wraps that are on past their warranty period. The steam softens the film from top to bottom and then it comes off with very little adhesive residue left behind. For more information on this gloss metallic series, you can go to this URL or visit TechRap on their social media pages. This has been a product bulletin for TechRap's Gloss Metallic Series. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.